everyone, welcome back to Royalty Soaps. Today's creation was a really spur of the moment decision. <laughs> I had been compiling lots of loose soap scraps to create this soap and I finally decided that I had enough. It doesn't really fit the gemstone theme, but it still looks really cool. <laughs> and without further ado, let's begin making soap. We will begin by blending our lye water solution into our oils. Now for the fun part, we're going to color the entire soap black. Now in this plastic container, I have a cocktail of three different types of colorants. I have some black pearl mica from Nurture Soap. I have some black oxide from Wholesale Supplies Plus. I have some activated charcoal. Actually, we have four, not three. I can't do basic math, apparently. <laughs> And we also have Super Sparkles from Nurture Soap, and that's just gonna add just a teeny tiny bit of sparkle. It may or may not even show up in the final soap, but I wanted to experiment and see. So I'm gonna pour the whole thing into here. It's pretty thick. I've mixed it with a little bit of the oil mixture before I blended it up with the lye solution. So without scraping too much out, let's blend that and see how dark it is. Yay, the super sparkles are actually showing up. I know there's a really harsh glare on the soap because of the overhead light, but I'm telling you, the little super sparkles are in there. They look like teeny tiny little stars, which is exactly what I wanted. I pretty much scraped that colorant jar clean, so I'm gonna blend up the rest of it. Now it's time to add the fragrance oil. Today I am using green tea fragrance from Wholesale Supplies Plus. I've already measured it off into my pitcher here. It's a lovely fragrance. Pretty subtle, um, very, very, very reminiscent of actual green tea. Because this is a solar system soap, I tried to pick a fragrance that I thought lots of people would like. I'm gonna begin by mixing in the fragrance oil with my stick blender like this. I'm not even gonna turn it on. I'm just gonna kinda blend it by going in circles, and then I'll turn the mixer on low and blend for about 10 seconds. With the fragrance oil good and incorporated, it is time to move to the next step, the pouring. But before we do that, I wanna show you guys the embeds I'm gonna be working with today. So I have some gold-coated ones, some aquamarine-coated ones, closer to a teal blue, really, and then some purple ones. These are colored in Maya Gold, these are colored in Siren Song, and these are colored in Vibrance Purple. Now the little soap balls on the inside, I have been making for literally, I'm not even joking, like nine months. These are the shavings that we have collected from all the soaps that we've made because Caleb and I bevel all of our soaps, so all the little scrapey bits we saved and smushed into balls so they're all different colors. Because they've been sitting for so long, a good bit of the original fragrance has dissipated, so they don't really smell like anything. They kind of just smell like plain soap, which is actually good because we want the green tea fragrance to be the most prominent scent in this soap. What I'm going to do is pour some of the black soap into the big mold and then I'm gonna place these little soap balls randomly inside so that when we cut them it just looks like planets all over the place. I've got my mold lined in freezer paper so I'm going to pour in some of the black soap very carefully. I've poured in about a fourth of the soap here. So I'm gonna start placing the little planets in and I've got all different shapes and sizes. I tried to make most of them kind of small but I have some really big ones in here cause I thought that would be fun to have like, you know, a huge planet. If you're a soap maker and you're going to be doing something like this yourself, then a piece of advice I have would be to pour out all of your little soap planets here on the table or whatever works Space you happen to be using so that you can see just how many you have to work with, how many you have left between like all the layers of soap that you're doing. It just kind of helps whenever you're lining up the mold here. I have a lot more gold than I do of any other color, so I'm putting more of those in. The first layer of little soapy planets are in, so now I'm gonna take a spatula 
and one of these containers that I have from the dollar store and I'm just going to cover them up. The whole reason I'm using the spatula is because I don't really want the soap planets to move that much after I've put them in. I've tried to space them out pretty evenly so that every single soap bar will have at least one or two that's visible and using a spatula kind of helps ladle the soap into place and keep all the little planets from moving too much. Now that all of them are covered, I am just going to put some more all into the container here, just kind of build up the volume a little bit. And we're ready for the next layer, so I'm just going to gently put this on top. Ooh, that one was really heavy. <laughs> it might actually be squashing one of the planets underneath. Looks like I might need to wait on putting those bigger planets in until the soap sets up a little bit more. But we can for sure put some of these little guys in. Okay, time to pour the next layer on top. It's getting quite a bit thicker, which is actually really good because it's holding all the little soap balls in place. All right, time for the last layer of the soapy planet. So all of these are small. I didn't really wanna have any big ones at the top. I wanted to keep those closer to the bottom. I cannot tell you guys how many times this soap has been requested. So many people wanted to see a solar system soap, so I'm glad that I can actually do it. I just wanted to make sure that if I did do a solar system soap that the embeds looked really good. So it's just taken me this long to compile this many good embeds. This is definitely a very very exclusive limited edition soap. All right that's all of them in. Look at my gloves. It's like Mardi Gras up in this place. Time to get these suckers all covered up and add kind of the final layer of the black which is not as black as it could be and I kind of did that on purpose. I didn't want it to be like pitch black. I just wanted it to be like a really 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 dark gray. I honestly don't even really need that spatula anymore. They're all staying in place pretty good. Now it's time to get the rest of the soap out of the big container. So I'm just gonna ladle this all the way across. I am definitely going to scrapey scrapey because there is a lot left in here. I feel like if you add up every single time I have scraped a bucket out, I probably would have been scraping buckets for like a year. <laughs> okay, all the soap is in the mold. So I'm just going to touch it a little bit. Make sure it's to the very edges of the soap. Try to distribute it as much as I can. Even though this soap doesn't actually have any piping on top, it's still gonna be a pretty tall soap because all of those little embeds in there take up a lot of room. Sounds like somebody could not possibly be happier in there. Okay, so all the soap is in the mold, so it's time to add the decorations on top and they are beautiful. So this one right here is silver. This one right here is Milky Way. And this one right here is Black Galaxy. So as you can see, all very fitting for this soap. I've mixed them up with a little bit of oil. So I'm gonna take my pipette here and drizzle it on. This is the Galaxy one. Man, that gold is so pretty. Shaking me a little bit left. Now it is time for the silver. Kind of put that everywhere, especially the edges. Don't want to forget those. And finally, the Milky Way. This one has some turquoise in there, some gold, some silver, some purple. It is a whole bunch of stuff and it is beautiful. Oh yes, oh that is so lovely. So I can't decide if I want to like leave it like this on top or if I want to mix it. I'm going to use a lifeline and call a friend. Oh, Caleb! I need some help, Tub Tub. You should probably just leave it like that. Okay, good, because that's kind of what I wanted to do, but I needed somebody's permission. <laughs> awesome. So I'm going to spritz this with rubbing alcohol. It makes all of the glitter like shimmer and sparkle when I do that, I love it. And then we are gonna let this soap sit for about 48 hours. 
I'm letting this particular soap slab sit a little bit longer because I don't want any of the embeds inside moving. I want to give them essentially plenty of time to firm up. So this is what the top looks like. Eek! I cannot wait to cut this soap. I have not been this excited about chopping up soaps for a really long time. We are back about 36 hours later to cut the solar system soap. I have already sliced the slab up into four equal loaves. So this is the last one. And look at the stars on top. It's so pretty. I think next time I might make the soap a little bit darker, but I do kind of like the really dark gray appearance and I super, super love all the glitter, glitter, glitter on top. So I'm just going to line this up so that all the, the end pieces are equal there. We're going to press down gently. <coughs> And let's pull out of the middle. Yes, look at that. That looks so cool. Apparently, I made a green rim around the edge of that one. It's been such a long time since I made some of these soap embeds that I honestly forgot how I made some of them. <laughs> Whoa, this one looks like the world. I also really love that the fragrance is so fitting. Like it just, it smells like it belongs and that every single bar is so different. Like because all the embeds are so unique. Look at this. This is the end piece. I love this. Here's another end piece. This is crazy. That looks so cool. And this one, I'm digging it. So the question of the day is a functional one. I want to know if you guys would like to see this soap more often. Like if I should make it maybe once every two months. Because at this point, I definitely have enough scraps to do so. But I want to know, do you guys want to see it in the shop more often if you do? Or if you don't, please click the I in the upper right hand corner of the screen to cast your vote. These soaps will be available to purchase at royaltysoaps.com on March 7th, 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And hey, if you aren't subscribed, be sure to do that and click the notification bell so the little soap fairy will alert you every time I post a new video. And until next time, I hope you all have an absolutely royal day and bye for now. Meow.